Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing a maintenance detail on my client's cars, but I'm also changing the oil. So I'm going to show you the quick and easy way that I do it. So in this one, because it's a Audi, there's a service dipstick um, where there would be a dipstick. All I have to do is pull that plug out. I already changed the filter. And all I have to do now is siphon up the oil. Very simple. Just pump this. And then what I will do is then siphon up the water, or the oil, not the water, the oil. And once the, see, you can tell once, see there's still oil going through, but if I pull it up, it will change. So it's just very simple. What you do is you change the filter first and then do this. And you can actually hear it. I wanna put it back. That noise right there, you'll hear that when it's done. So I'm just gonna pump it up again and we're gonna keep going. You can actually attach this one to a air compressor, which is awesome. But I just do it this way, it makes it easy. Um, so just keep pumping it up, suck out the oil. And the other cool part with this one is. It tells you on the side how many liters it is, so you can tell how much oil you have. So see when it starts doing this, it's done. So what I like to do while it's still sucking up, disconnect them. And then as this tube comes out, just wipe it up so you don't have any mess. And put the oil, put it back in so this one just disconnects like this same way just insert it into there and then you can actually just now add your oil back so I'll put this I'll just put this one by, back in by hand make sure it clicks in there it's good what I actually will do is take this off so I know it's off. Insert this back on. Set this right here so I know I need to add oil. Make sure your funnel's clean. And now I'm gonna go grab the oil and it will do that and then we'll be done. And the easiest way, the easiest way to tell is right here is our line on our oil. See that little splash? We started with about here, so we pulled up two and a half liters. So I'm gonna add four quarts and then check the dipstick. So, just like that. Then I like to put the cap back on. Um, one thing to do, make sure you didn't spill any oil. I did not. Make sure the cover's back in there. So, all good. Make sure your filter's tight. Everything's good. We're gonna go back in the car and uh, start it up. So this one's really easy, all you have to do is go to car, oil level, this one's going to take a minute, so what you do is come back when it's hot enough and then you'll be able to check it, also this one, 
Then I'll reset this too, so that way we're good. But it should be fine. All right. But that's how you change the oil in this Audi Q5. It's a 2015. Um, again, this is a service I like to add to my clients, so that way they don't have to go to Jiffy Lube. They don't have to go back to Audi. And it's something, it's like I'm already here playing with the car. Why not as well just do that? As you see, when it's a top side filter like this, it's super easy to do. If you like this video, get a thumbs up. Thank you again for watching. If you have any comments, I'll link everything in the description box and it'll be the first comment, it'll be a link to that like extractor and all the tools that I used. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day. Thanks, bye. So welcome back to the channel. So today I have a 2015 Audi Q5 that I do like a maintenance detail on. Um, so here, go ahead and I'll, all right, so I'll go ahead and I'll show you it. So the wheels aren't too bad. You gotta do this, you're gonna need some love. I'd say it's not too bad. I have a ceramic spray on it that I like to maintain it with. But overall, I would say it's not bad. So, we'll hit it with the wheel acid, get all that going, and then, uh, So the inside, I'm gonna pull this mat out. I'm gonna have to take some of this stuff out. Blow it out. So, we'll come out. Same thing on the inside. I just like to grab these mats. Get them out while I'm washing the outside. Come in, pick all this stuff up. It'll come out good. So. Yep, the same thing. Just gotta pick up this stuff, blow it out. That'll be fine. Sitting there on the inside, I already have that mat out. So it's just gonna be picking up a bunch of stuff. I'm coming to hang it with the vacuum. So, let's get started. So the wheels, they came out good. Just the faces on this one. Uh, the barrels don't really get scrubbed down. But it looks a whole lot better. Wheels are dressed. Paint looks all shiny. So, unfortunately, this has some uh, bad body work on the hood. But it looks good. Look at that gloss. So, inside, it's looking a lot better. Uh, these mats are just gone. Um, just gonna whip them down a little bit more. But this should be good. Came along pretty good though. All that trash has been relocated to the trunk. It's looking a lot better. Show you that. So like I said with the trunk, everything is just located back here. That's where I put everything, makes it simple. So that way, I can just grab everything. But overall, it's turned out pretty good. A few spots I gotta touch up, but again, this is just maintenance detail. And from what I just saw the before to this, it's a whole lot better. It's not perfect, because that's not the type of detail it's gonna be. But, everything looks good. So. Again, if you have any questions, comments, you wanna know what I use, why I use it, all that stuff, Will be in the, uh, you can just comment down below, I'll answer your question. And then again, everything will be linked in the description box, or the, and it'll also be the first comment at the top, I'll just send, put my link there. So, thanks again for watching, hope you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.